Well, one word to describe how younger generations will change the fashion business for me is sustainability. They will have completely new demands to what it means to be an end-to-end -end sustainable brand. This industry is about emotional attachment, loyalty and excitement for, for brands. And we are very convinced that in the future that brand love and brand loyalty will very much be dependent on the sustainability attributes that a brand enables or builds with its consumers. There will be a clear growth in different types of sustainable fashion consumption. One is obviously products that are made out of more sustainable materials. It could be recycled materials or it could be lower CO2 impact materials such as organic cotton instead of regular cotton. But it could also be what we call circular business models, basically resale, uh, rental, uh, to some extent also repair and refurbishment. What will really move the needle on, on circular business models is the circular consumer experience. I think as soon as some brands will enable great ways of returning your, your garment into a circular cycle, not have, having to carry them back to the store, but them being picked up without any hassle at your doorstep, with the brands actually knowing what you have in your wardrobe and bidding for that and sending you reminders what would be uh, great to to bring back into this, uh, the circularity cycle. So, I mean, imagine that your style advisor tells you, you haven't worn these blue shoes in a while. Don't you want to resell them? And then instead of having to kind of position them in a nice spot, having to take a, a photo, thinking about description, it actually makes a perfect suggestion saying, look, these are the shoes uh, that you bought. These are some of the pictures of the original one. Here is the perfect description and it will just be like 20 seconds and up your item is on the platform. And I think the beauty will be once the, the, the wardrobes of millions of consumers will be connected, right? Because then your personal style advisor, what he can actually do, he can actually find and identify the woman for which these blue shoes would be the perfect match to their wardrobe, right? So also the reselling process will be kind of done in a second. And that's the moment when end of ownership really will be big scale. Roughly 55% of all levers that are at our hands to reduce emissions are actually saving money for the industry and um, will over the long term not always be negative in only costing, but actually save money. Yes, they will still require upfront investments, but they are positive in terms of payback. Up to 40% of garments are actually not sold at full price, but at some degree of discount and some garments end up not being sold at all. Um, cutting overproduction in half from where it is today would make a huge contribution towards a lower carbon footprint of the industry. What I would ask all the CEOs in the fashion industry to do is really take that end of ownership thinking seriously and how will it disrupt their business model. So if it's for a brand, how can they make sure that they will be well represented in that ecosystem? So it's not only a need, but it's also, I believe, a huge opportunity to, for this industry to reinvent itself and create things that are actually exciting to the consumer. Of course, it will be interesting to see whether it will be the established players who will eventually be the winners of the circular models or whether we will see completely new players born circular, but there's not so much time to sit and watch, but rather it is getting time to, uh, to take action. Mm -hmm.